Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Mugu's Natural Mini Me Bubbly Wash. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Mugu the company and then I'm going to talk about the product itself. I'm going to highlight a few of the ingredients and then tell you my opinion of it. My name's Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. Mugu is a small family owned and operated business based out of Australia. They do have warehouses in different parts of the world such as the US and the UK. Mugu is pretty concerned about the environment. So some examples are in Australia, some of their offices and warehouses are primarily solar powered or solar run and that is really awesome. Another thing that they do is they have a machine that is able to recycle or upcycle um, old cardboard and cardboard boxes and they use those as packing material. So that is something that I really like when a company is concerned about the environment. They also do not test on animals. They state that they test on themselves. And I'll be honest, when I see that, eh, I kind of get a little bit iffy about that because um, you do need to do lab testing. Um, and um, one thing that you need to be doing is a preservative test called a challenge test. So yes, this does have preservatives in it and I know that Preservatives have this bad rap and people think they're evil, but preservatives are actually wonderful ingredients. So the purpose of a preservative is to preserve your product from going bad. It keeps microorganisms like bacteria, you have gram positive and negative um, bacteria, yeast mold and fungus, it keeps those from growing in your product. And even though a product looks fine and smells fine, these are microorganisms. You need a microscope. So I, I'm not an expert, I'm not a formulator or anything like that, I don't have background in science. Um, but I looked at their labels and I did have a question as to the ingredients and they got back to me really quickly and really nicely and said that yes, they do do lab testing so they know that their products are not going to be growing anything um, natural in it that should not be there. So um, Mugu, I like the fact that they're ethical um, and they don't test on animals and they're small and family run. All those things are well and good. However, their prices are more than I was used to paying um, and I did put off purchasing for a while. I finally found a discount co uh, coupon for about 15% off and that was over a year ago. I haven't seen it since. They don't really have that many sales. Sometimes when they are um, changing a product or changing the container, they might have sales, um, but they don't have that many sales. I do have a $10 off coupon for you guys and you can find that below. It's good off your first order of $40 or more. So let's talk a little bit about the product. So this is their bubbly wash, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys first about the container. This is 500 milliliters, and that is 16.9 ounces, so about 17 ounces. It is a pump top, and the pump top spins all the way around. I know some companies have this locking method, um, which is especially good with kids, like it goes in one direction, it locks, other direction doesn't, they don't have that. Um, their label, um, so the container itself is clear, so you can't really see how much you have left in here. I do have a lot left in here. I don't use that that often. I'm going to explain why a little bit later. Um, they say that um, some cleansers can dry the skin. Babies need bubbles. Many bubbly washes use petroleum-based detergents that are known to foam a lot. And they have six different natural cleansers, um, such as colloidal, rice bran, aloe, and other things. They also say that it's pH balanced and it's free of paraffin, parabens, and phenooxyethanol. Um, so I do know that paraffin is natural. My daughter is actually allergic to beeswax. Um, parabens do have a very bad reputation. I'm sure most of you know that parabens are a preservative. They've been around for decades. They work really well and there was a study that says that they produce cancer. That study was so incredibly flawed. However, um, I avoid parabens. I feel um, I feel like there are new studies that have said that they might interact with your health, but I also feel like they're They've been around for a while and they work and they're cheap, but I feel like with all the new innovative um, ingredients that we have and products that we have, I feel like they should be do using something newer and more expensive, as bad as that sounds. If I'm going to be paying a lot for a product, I don't want it to have cheap ingredients in it. Uh, phenooxyethanol is a preservative that is in a lot of natural products. If you follow the EWDG, um, which I know is controversial, it's rated as a four. However, um, some people do have um, reactions or, or get irritated when they use phenooxyethanol. Um, they tell you to, uh, so that's under the uses. Under the directions, they do tell you that you should patch test for allergies. It's not as clear as in some of their other products, so I'm gonna show you guys 
So this is their um, lotion, and it says very clearly that they should patch test. Unfortunately here, um, the patch testing is hidden in the directions. Um, so there is no information about the shelf life. I do have their milk wash, which is a facial and body, body cleanser, and this said it's good for three years. So my guesstimate is this would be good for a number of years, between like one and three years, but I'm not sure, if, but I'm not exactly sure. They do say it's good for children and babies with sensitive skin and it's SLS free. They also tell you to shake it up. So I have, I've shaken it and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit about the ingredients. The first ingredient is um, water. And some of their ingredients in here, what they have done is they put the INCI or the inky name um, that is used for formulas and in parentheses they either put the vernacular name or they tell you what it is. They have not done this for everything and I really wish they had. Um, they have aqua and most people do know that is water. And then they have some cleansers, coconut based, glucose based, another glucose one. They've got aloe vera in here, more cleansers, collodial rice bland, gargum, and hop extracts. So those are all the ones, oh and a natural ester, which have the vernacular name in it. So there is no added fragrance to it. So it doesn't really smell like anything. Um, I want to show you guys what it looks like. I told you I shook it up, but I'm going to shake it again so you guys can see. And I have the same problem with this as I do with the milk wash. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, hopefully it's very runny. Um, but can you guys see that there's kind of the white, there's white on here, and it's not mixing well with the clear show you guys again. Can you guys see there's kind of like lines of white. So I feel like something is not emulsified correctly. Something is not blended correctly. Or I don't know, maybe they're trying to make it uh, separate a little bit like that. But both of these have the problem. And the natural milk wash is somewhat easier to see because it's a little thicker. Um, but you can see the natural milk wash. It's got clear and it's got white as well. And again, I, I don't know if they're trying to do that, if they've meant to do that, or if there is an issue with the emulsifier. I haven't written to them and, and asked. Um, I have not used this a lot because uh, my husband bought a uh, the Honest Company bubble bath, and we use that sometimes. But um, my kids have dry skin, and the baby has eczema. So I really, with when you have children with eczema, I bathe her every other day, and I try not to use a, any bubble bath or or just as very little as possible because it can irritate her. Now the issue with these bubbles is because they are using these natural based, um, non-petroleum based products, they do not foam very well at all. So you'll put this in um, and then the bubbles disappear. And what you can do is you can like swish around the water and the bubbles come back, but they really don't last for a long time. I probably would not use this for bubble bath per se unless you want uh, very little bubbles. I would probably use this more for like um, just bathing. But um, I would not repurchase this to be honest with you. Like I do like the ethos and the ethics behind the company. I do like the ingredients in here that they don't have beeswax in it. They don't have any fragrances or essential oils. Uh, but it just doesn't work that well for a bubble bath. I would probably just use the milk wash since I mainly use the bubble bath as a body wash for the kids. So I want to hear from you guys. I've told you guys a little bit about Mugu. I talked about the ingredients, showed you what it looked like, gave you my opinion of it. Have you guys purchased anything from Mugu? Please let me know in the comments below um, what you purchased and what you thought of it. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you guys like this video and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I'll see you guys later.